I told myself I was going to try my best not to talk about my song anymore. Until I listened to a freestyle that he just put out, Sneak This and Me, Academics, and Whack. Now, I swear I hate talking about this nigga. But the reality of it is, my son is a key player. Until freedom, his movement is a movement that has to be watched. They are being protected by the elite. For some reason, they are allowing the humiliation ritual to go on with Black Lives Matter as until freedom separates themselves from the same umbrella that they come up under. I'm going to break this down for y'all real simple so y'all can understand. Again, I'm going to make this real simple. See this? Google, be your best friend. Reports Al Sharpton, FBI informant on the mob, right? The Reverend Al Sharpton has served as an outspoken civil rights activist, presidential nominee, television host, and if a news reporter is to be believed, a key informant, a key informant, a key informant to the FBI. I'm not reading all this. You can Google and figure it out yourself. This is Al Sharpton. Let me connect the dots for you. He is the founder, the one who shaped it and molded Tamika Mallory, his protege. This is the girl that got on the news and told black youth around the world to riot and loot. And they did that. And she got away with it. Went to the Grammys. Got a nominee or at the Oscars, Grammys, whatever that was, the Hip Hop Awards. She went to one of the Hip Hop Awards, did a performance at the hip. She's not even a rapper. My song, you never even made it to the stage, you bitch ass nigga. You was at the after party watching her. You the rapper. You at the after party. You looking at the star. You looking at her. Performing, though, she don't even rap. She's on stage. And you sitting up there clapping. Ow, you sucker. Tamika Mowry is the protege of the elite. Protege of the elite. She was groomed by an FBI informant, Al Sharpton. Then we got my son. This nigga's funny. Then they gonna keep killing us. That's right. If they don't see us uniform, unified and uniform, they gonna start killing us. That's right. If we don't mobilize and utilize our power in mobilization and in unity, they will continue to kill us and think that we like it. That's right. If you are silent about your pain, they will kill you and think that you like it. That's right. So we made a plan. See that? We made a, a decision. Who's that right there? That's a song, Campbell. That is not okay. That's my song. Six year old woman and go back to work. Preach, preach. It's not okay for the police to kill sixty six year old woman and get paid by taxpayers' money. That's right. <laughs> These are kings and queens. You see that image? That was her song, Campbell, on the front line when he started off with Deborah Dana, right? How he say dudes don't approach him. I went to where he was at, approached him, stood outside, arguing toe-to-toe, face-to-face -to -face with the police. Oh, he didn't think I had footage of that. With us out, with us out there together. See, what y'all got to understand is, right? In those movements, that is a cult movement. It is a government movement. It's COINTELPRO. Those niggas is not for us. So, of course, he'll stand out there, have you march with him, but they go get the bag. And they not sharing the bag. These niggas is ambulance chasers, right? Ambulance chasers talking about doing the work. 
No, you're not working. You're arguing with the police who's ignoring you with the bullhorn. And in, or, in order to make you look like you, you authentic, every once in a while they will arrest you. Talking about you doing work, you putting what work in? The Black Panther Party put in work. Not just, just free lunches, stop signs, and, and, and the things that they did wick for our people. But when police violated, they came outside, not with bullhorns and picket signs. They came outside with shotties. And they got busy. This was the difference between our people back then, where J. Edgar Hoover said, oh, no, we have to get rid of that type of strength. So much to the point to where that all of our leaders that were revolutionaries, they refuse to let any of them go from jail, even on the death, even on a deathbed. They won't even let them go home to die in a home. They'd rather keep them there. But nevertheless, we still got my song, right? Let's have a conversation about something that I want to touch on. As far as dudes being real niggas, my song always throwing about. The real niggas, you know, the last of a dying breed. Nigga, when you say a last of the dying breed, put some respect on that. The last of a dying breed ain't a quote-unquote real nigga. The word real nigga is a spell. Words are spells. Be careful what you call yourself. That's why I don't call myself a real nigga. The word nigga means what? Ignorant. You real ignorant. That's what you're calling yourself. The last of a dying breed, who are you talking about? The last of the Native Americans? Is that what you're saying? When you say, quote unquote, real nigga, who are you talking about? The Nicky Bonds, the fat cats, the outpos, the preachers, the rich porters, the AZs? Who are you talking about? The Pistol Pete's? Niggas that committed geno geno genocide on their own people because they was infiltrated by the FBI and the CIA. When you call yourself a real nigga, what, are, what is the definition of that? When you're talking about how you stomped through, you did the big, you went to jail for a cab driver robbery that you say you didn't do. And other people say that you didn't do. So you went to jail for robbing a cab driver. Your mans. They didn't do what D-Rock did with Biggie. Nah, I'm going to take this gun. You got a career? My son was the hottest thing smoking at that time. At that time, I will admit, I was a fan of little boy my son. The first time I heard his music. In a cassette tape, I was in a car with X. He popped that tape in. I was like, shorty, nice. Yeah, wait till you hear the updated version of the music. Shorty, nice. I heard you. Son, you went to jail for robbing a cab driver. You ain't never shot nothing, my nigga. Respectfully. And you shouldn't have to, but when you want to sit up there and glorify being the, the quote-unquote nigga, you ain't never shot nothing. When the police pull up, whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. When the police pull up after they dump bullets in somebody, you and Tamika Mallory roll up with the bullhorns. Nigga, you ain't never punch a, you ain't never punch a pig in the face. Now, what time did you say, you know what, me and this officer going to shoot a fair one real quick? So as far as you going outside... Talking about I'm toe to toe, chest to chest, screaming we shall overcome. And as soon as the police walk up to you and tell you to put your hands behind your back, you politely put your hands behind your back and willfully become a slave. And that's what you want the youth to look up to? It's no retreat, no surrender, my nigga. It's no retreat, no surrender, my nigga. What you trying to teach our children? Did it, you ain't the Gullah Wars, my nigga. That's the last of a dying breed. If you want to call somebody real niggas, look up the Gullah Wars. These people didn't give, up, give us our freedom. We took it. 
When you're talking about the last of a dying breed, who are you talking about? Are you talking about Marcus Garvey, the man that didn't use the internet to build up the biggest black movement ever in America? Who got infiltrated by who? We already know. And they did what to him? They said he's too strong to kill him. These people might go crazy. So they exiled him out of the country and sent him back, back to his own land where his people, where his people, where his people treated him like shit. When you say, quote unquote, real nigga, who are you talking about? Who are we talking about here? Who? Who are we talking about? What defines and make a person a real nigga, my son? Why do you keep using that term when you are an activist, when you should really be a revolutionary, my nigga? Gangsta but woke. A gangsta ain't nothing but a criminal. Nigga, you ain't never moved no bricks. You ain't never popped nothing. You ain't the Grand Reaper. You ain't never snatched a soul. Stop fronting. Real because of what? Because the boule, the boule, the boule, huh? Them Jamie Foxx ass niggas select, that they accept you? Oh, because the boule accepts you, right. Right. Because Will Smith missed the six degrees of separation that gave you and Tamika Maori a hug. And his first movie was, what was the first, did you know the door, the door, the door. These are the people that accept you. The door. It, it's a level of success where it's a door. It's a door. When you platinum and you're getting 50000 a show, I've been there. There's a door that you can walk in. I'm not sure if it's homo or if it's Illuminati. I just didn't take that door. I went straight. There's three different doors, right? There's three different ways to walk. There's to the left. There's to the right. And then they're straight. So straight is your own, your own. Let's see if you continue this success, young man. Okay. Let's see if it was all about your skills, young man. Let's really see that. Okay. You went straight. To the right? I'm not sure if that's the homo shit right there. And then there's to the left. I'm not sure if there's some sacrifice shit going on right there. I'm not sure because I went straight. Right, the door. The door. This was your leader. Darren Sills. Look him up. He was making headlines. So they aired him out. Dumped gasoline in his car, set him on fire. Here's his replacement. Here's his replacement. Understand something, man. Wherever the celebrities lead you, you go in the opposite direction. They are not of us. Certain celebrities have been put in certain positions and they've been held at up in like certain rappers. They play certain positions. If there's a Jamaican rapper, they'll use them in Jamaica. If there's a Latino rapper, like Fat Joe, for example, they'll use them in Puerto Rico. What did Malcolm X say about your leaders? I'm not going to say it again. I'm going to let him say it again. A little while ago, these leaders that they called leaders, this included Lena Horn, this included Dick Gregory, and this included comedians, comics, trumpet players, baseball players. Show me in the white community where a comedian is a white leader. Show me in the white community where a singer is a white leader or a dancer or a trumpet player is a white leader. These aren't leaders. These are puppets and clowns that uh, have been set up over the white community and uh, over the black community by the white community and have been made celebrities and usually say exactly what uh, they know that the white man wants to hear. I just told you a little while ago. You can't trust nobody that the elite sponsors, when they actually push somebody, they're speaking against them. It's because they're, that's their puppet. Stupid. That's like a nigga giving you HIV. 
and you're promoting him on a billboard. And he purposely gave you HIV. A, a revolutionary is a cancer to the system. So when you see 501c3s and programs sponsoring a so-called activist slash revolutionary, then you know that he is of them. That is that that is an imposter. You niggas better wake up. Cause in the near future, Hassan Campbell about to get on some real. Y'all want to be dumbed down? I'm going to dumb your dumb ass down. You know why? Because in this near future, in order to run your mouth in the new world, that means that they're turning a the switch off. This is the switch. Oh, Hassan Campbell, you want to talk, nigga? Poop. Now you can't feed your family, and your family can't feed your family. They're going to starve them out. They're going to erase your bloodline. They already erased your history. They already erased your real bloodline. Now what they're going to do is they're going to make everybody after you understand that if you got a big mouth and you want to sit up there and talk about these corporations, you want to sit up there and talk about Bill Gates and, and Fauci punk ass, you're in trouble. They're not even going to tolerate it. Send assassins, no. They're not going to send you your... You're going to get shadow banned. Your bank account is just going to disappear. They show you the movies you ain't watching you haven't been watching oh no it's football season again now you want to watch them corny ass football players nope i will not be sitting up there watching football super bowl sunday nope